let us look at another example of sequencing n jobs on two machines. Raj has opened a new clinic to provide specialized medical care for sports related injuries. A patient's visit to Raj's clinic usually involves two separate stages. The first stage is where the patient meets with the doctor to get a physical examination done and then a set of x-rays is taken of the injured part of the patient's body. So basically Raj has opened a new clinic to provide medical care for sports related injuries. And there are two separate stages. First one is to meet with the doctor and get a physical examination done. And second stage is to get an x-ray done. Now the amount of time spent at each stage of the patient's visit can vary significantly depending on the type of injury and whether or not this is the patient's first visit to the clinic. So depending on the type of injury and whether this is the first visit of that patient, the time for each of the stage may vary significantly from patient to patient. Currently, Raj is the only doctor and his clinic has only one technician and one x-ray machine. Now on a given day, six patients have made appointments. It is estimated that each patient requires the following times in minutes for each of the two stages. So there are six patients who have made an appointment at Raj's clinic. Shweta, Anu, Mary, Sid, Lalit and Atin. And the clinic has already determined the time each of these patients will need for examination as well as the x-ray. For example, Shweta needs 30 minutes for the physical examination while she would need 15 minutes for the x-ray. Similarly, Anu needs 45 minutes for the physical examination while she would need 50 minutes for the x-rays and so on. Now what we have to do is to determine the optimal order for scheduling these patients throughout the day. So basically we have to determine how to schedule these six patients in the most optimal way so that the overall time required is reduced. And second, if the clinic opens at 9 a.m. with the first patient, what times should each of the patients be told to come into the clinic? So basically, this is to determine what time should the patients be coming to the clinic so that they don't waste their time and even the clinic doesn't keep them waiting. So let us find out how to solve this problem. So this is the data that has been provided to us. Now, we'll use Johnson's rule to solve this problem. Now Johnson's rule says that first select the job with the shortest operation time. In our case, the jobs means the patients and each of these two are the operations. Now if the shortest time is for the first machine or the first operation, then do the job first or in our terms schedule the patient first. But if the shortest time is for the second machine or the second operation, then do the job last. Or in our case, schedule the patient towards the end. So first let's find out the shortest operation time. So the shortest operation time 
is for X-ray machine for Shweta. So since it is on the second operation, we'll schedule her towards the end of the sequence. Now since we have already sequenced or scheduled her, we'll strike through this line. The next shortest operation time is 20 minutes, which is for Sid. And since this is for the first operation, we'll schedule him in the beginning of the sequence. Let's strike through this line as well. The next shortest operation time is 25 minutes, which is for Lalit. And since it is on the second operation, we'll schedule him towards the end. Let's strike through this line as well. The next shortest operation time is for X-ray for Mary, which is 35 minutes. Again, since this is for the second operation, she'll be scheduled towards the end. Let's strike through this line. Now the next shortest operation time is 45 minutes for Anu on the physical examination, which is the first operation. So we'll schedule her towards the beginning. And we can strike through this line. And then the last is Atil. So we'll schedule him between Anu and Mary. So this is the sequence in which the patients should be given appointments. Sid, Anu, Atil, Mary, Lalit and Shweta. Now let us find out the answer to part B, which is to determine at what time should these patients be given appointments if the start time of the clinic is 9 o'clock in the morning. So let's find that out. So first I'll list the patients in the sequence that we have just now determined. So first is Sid, then Anu, then Atin, then Mary, then Lalit, and then Shweta. Next we'll list the in and out times for the first operation which is examination. Then we'll list the in and out times for the second operation, which is X-ray. So first patient to be given an appointment is Sid. So Sid can be given an appointment for 9 a.m. in the morning for the physical examination. Now Sid is going to take 20 minutes. So he can be out by 9.20. And then he can go into the x-ray which is at 9.20 and in x-ray he is going to take 40 minutes so he's going to be out at 10 a.m. now while Sid is out of the physical examination at 
Anu can actually go into the physical examination. So she can be given an appointment at 9.20. And then Anu needs 45 minutes for the physical examination. So she will be out by 10.05 a.m. And at 10.05 a.m., the x-ray machine is also available. So she can go in for the x-ray at 10.05 a.m. And she'll need 50 minutes there. So she'll be out by 10.55 a.m. Now, while Anu is out of the examination by 10.05 a.m., Atin can go in for the physical examination at that time. And Atin is going to take 60 minutes there. So he is going to be out by 11.05 a.m. And then at 11.05 a.m., X-ray machine is available. So he can go in for the X-ray at 11.05 and he'll take 70 minutes there so he'll be out by 12 15. now since Atin is out at 11 5 a.m from the physical examination mary can go in for the physical examination at that time and mary is going to take 75 minutes for the physical examination so mary is going to be out by 12 20. Now Mary can then go into the x-ray machine as the x-ray is available. So 12.20 Mary can start the x-ray and Mary needs 35 minutes there. So Mary will be out of the x-ray by 12.55. Now while Mary is out of the physical examination at 12.20, Lalit can go into physical examination at that point in time. Now Lalit needs 90 minutes. So now 1220 plus 60 minutes will be 1320. But this is 90 minutes. So plus 30 minutes. So it will be 1350. So 1350 is when Lalit will be out of the physical examination. And at that time, the x-ray is available so he can go in for the x-ray at 13.50 and Lalit needs 25 minutes for the x-ray so he'll be out by 14.15 now Shweta can go in for the physical examination at 13.50 hours and Shweta needs 30 minutes there so she can be out of the physical examination at 14.20 now at 14.20 x-ray machine is available so she can go to the x-ray immediately and she needs 15 minutes there. So she'll be out of the X-ray machine by 14.35. So basically if we schedule or sequence the patients in this sequence, then all the patients can be done by 2.35 in the afternoon. So we can definitely give appointments to these patients at these times wherein they are going into the physical examination which is 9 o'clock, 9.20, 10.05, 11.05, and 13.50. But of course, I mean, if we, if we want to put some gap in between two patients, we can put a gap of 10 minutes and let's say Sid comes in at 9 and then Anu comes in at 9.30. So basically there's a 10 minute buffer and then Atin can come in at 10.30, Mary can come in at 11.30, Lalit can come in at 12.30, and Shweta can come in at 2 p.m. So depending on how 
much gap you want to give between patients, you can schedule it accordingly.